This is for section 1.3, and this is about squares. Now when you square something, it can be like a verb. It's taking any number, so in this case 1, and we write it like this. It's a little 2 up in the right-hand corner. So if we have 2 squared, we would go 2 squared, and that's what the little 2 means. 3 squared would be 3 squared. 4 squared would be written 4 to the power of 2. 5 squared is 5 to the power of 2. Notice I'm calling it to the power of because that's also an exponent. But right now we'll just say that anytime you see a 2 up here in the corner, upper right hand corner of a number, that means that we've squared it. Now what does that mean? That simply means that you are taking this number here and you are multiplying it by itself that many times, two times. So 1 squared means we are doing 1 times 1. 2 squared means we're taking 2 and multiplying it by itself twice. 3 squared, same thing. 3 multiplied by itself. 4 squared, 4 multiplied by itself. 5 squared, same thing. So our answer then for 1 squared is 1. 2 squared, the answer is 4. 3 squared, the answer is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. And we can keep going down and we'll find that we have 36 would be for 6 squared. 7 squared would be 7 times 7, which is 49. 8 squared would be 8 times 8, which is 64. 9 squared would be 9 times 9, which is 81. And 10 squared, 10 times 10, which is, of course, 100. Now, how do we look at that visually, and what does that mean that it's a square? Why are we calling it a square? Well, it's actually based upon area. So if we think about area, and if we had a 1 by 1 centimeter square here, there we go, I have a one centimeter by one centimeter square. We would say, well, what's the area of this square? Area equals, in this case, it's going to be length times width. width. But in this case, our length and width are both one, and our area would be one centimeter square. So a square which has side length one and one, the answer will be one. Now, what if that square was two centimeters by two centimeters, just like this? then each side would be 2 and our area would be 2 times 2 or 4 centimeters squared. So the area, if we don't even include the units, a 2 by 2 square of any sort gives us 4 squares. A 1 by 1 square of any unit will give us 1 square. So a 1 squared gives us 1 squared. A uh, square with sides that, have, that are 2 in length will yield 4 squares. What about 3? If we have any square, this time I'm going to just forget the units. They will be centimeters, but it doesn't really matter. It could be any situation where side length is 3. 3 centimeters, 3 meters, whatever. Here we have 3 by 3. That's going to give us 3 by 3 which will give us nine squares, just like that. So any square with side length three will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares, and that's the visual there, okay? So that's how you can tell um, in a three by three, if we were to just draw it like this, it would be like this. There's a three by three, and that's the nine. Four by four, I'm drawing a four by four square, and there's my 16. Of course, we don't really have enough room for 25, but that would be a 5 by 5 square. And I could draw it like this, 5 by 5. That would give us 25 squares in the middle. A 6 by 6 square would give us 36 squares. And that's why we have the name squares.